Is NASCAR going to split as the NASCAR best teams decided to show their worth? Why do we say that there is a possibility of a NASCAR split? And what did Adam Stern recently tweet regarding NASCAR teams? Those who are not up with the NASCAR updates must find it difficult to understand what is going on. Wanna know? Then stay with us till the end. But before we begin, subscribe to our channel NASCAR Zone and hit the like button. In a startling turn of events, it has been claimed that NASCAR teams are thinking over the possibility of competing in off-season exhibition races that are not sanctioned by NASCAR. According to a report that was published on Tuesday by Adam Stern of Sports Business Journal, the Race Team Alliance, a coalition that includes the 36 NASCAR race teams with charters, has instructed the well-known marketing agency Wasserman to explore exhibition race opportunities, both domestically and internationally. Stern stated in his article that teams are interested in this since they are trying to generate a profit and are seeking for any possible new revenue streams. The reason for this struggle is that teams are looking for any possible new revenue sources. In the realm of NASCAR, this constitutes a significant departure from the norm. It has been outlawed for a very long time by the governing organization, which will be celebrating its 75th season in 2023 for drivers and teams to begin their very own racing series. Stern makes the observation that it appears that teams feel they have the legal standing to undertake some type of exhibition races, so long as they compete in non-NASCAR race cars and branded attire. If NASCAR stars like Joey Logano, Chase Elliott, and Kyle Larson competed in non-NASCAR race cars in some exhibition races and or series, do you think NASCAR fans would turn out to watch them? What do you think? Let us know in the comments section below. It looks like one idea could be a current version of the International Race of Champions, which was an exhibition series that began in the early 1970s with much excitement, but gradually suffered from low TV ratings and attendance, and ended in 2007 when it was discontinued. If we talk about previous speculations, NASCAR teams did have some issues with revenue distribution, which were highlighted some time ago. Under the radar conversations on the 2022 NASCAR Cup Series teams assigned budget have been taking place, but they have yielded little to no fruit in the direction of the athletes who compete on the track. Representatives from the team met with officials from the governing body to talk about the issue, which has been brought up in the past by a number of owner-operators in the sport, including Denny Hamlin and Brad Keselowski. Following the team's negotiation committee's submission of their proposal to the sport in June of this year, NASCAR addressed the meeting that took place over the weekend. The proposal was not reviewed until September last. In October, six members of the committee, including Raj Fenway, Kisilowski Racing President Steve Newmark, Hendrick Motorsports co-owner and vice chairman Jeff Gordon, 2311 Racing co-owner Michael Jordan, his business partner Curtis Polk, and Joe Gibbs Racing President Dave Alpern spoke to the media about the proceedings for the same. The RTA group that met with the media today emphasized that they have a passion for the sport and that they have no intention of departing from NASCAR, simply that the model in which 60 to 80 percentage points of a team's revenue come from sponsorship has to be altered, and that reducing expenses cannot be the primary solution to the problem. Representatives from multiple teams came together with the intention of maximizing profits for their organizations while simultaneously assisting NASCAR in the approaching revaluation of the sport's television rights. This was the overarching objective that guided their efforts. The procedure that is scheduled to take place in 2025 will involve the governing body negotiating with the highest bidder for TV rights along with the charter allocations for the various teams competing in the sport. Both of these aspects of the procedure have not yet been worked out. Michael Jordan's business partner, Curtis Polk, emphasized how the demands were far from being resolved on both sides after an already delayed answer from the sport. Polk was speaking after an already delayed reaction from the sport. He said, after waiting for three months and continuously urging them to please react because our owners were losing their patience, we finally received a proposal with a minor increase in revenue and the emphasis was placed on decreasing costs significantly. Polk also mentioned the fact that the cost of NASCAR's next-gen vehicles is virtually set, 
which means that important employees in the teams will have to be let go. But before we move further, do subscribe to our channel for future updates. NASCAR is currently at a crucial stage in its development curve and has the aim of being a dominant force in sports on a worldwide scale. In the present day, NASCAR is competing against other major sports organizations such as the NBA, the NFL, and the MLB. However, in addition to these traditional competitors, it also faces competition from Formula One, which is a relatively new but very formidable opponent. Ever since Formula One began producing the documentary series Drive to Survive in collaboration with Netflix, the sport has seen a surge in the interest all around the world. It is important to take into account that the United States market was the primary contributor to this astonishing expansion. His fame in the United States has reached unprecedented heights, and as a result, we will hold a record number of races in the country in the following year. NASCAR intends to broaden its horizons in the near future. In order to combat this, NASCAR will need to devise novel strategies and approaches. A good example of this would be for teams to host their own exhibition matches during the offseason. The RTA is a separate organization from NASCAR that looks for ways for teams that are having trouble maintaining their financial footing to generate additional money. Because of an agreement with NASCAR, teams are not permitted to begin their own beginning series. Off-season exhibition races may not be forbidden, however, as long as teams continue to use cars and outfits that are not branded with the NASCAR logo. In the event that the RTA is successful, it is possible that prominent teams like Hendrick Motorsports and 2311 Racing, which is owned by Michael Jordan, will be the ones to make the first move. This is not the first time that upper management at NASCAR has been presented with a proposal that has the potential to upset them. Fans have the belief that the RTA's move will cause NASCAR to be upset. During the 1990s, a situation quite similar to this was developing, but fortunately for NASCAR, they were able to head off the threat in its tracks. Fans are frustrated because the same thing keeps happening. However, as part of the charter agreement with NASCAR, teams are required to comply with a variety of limitations when doing so. One of these rules is that they cannot create a racing series that is in direct competition with NASCAR. After the 2024 campaign, this agreement will no longer be in effect. As long as the teams use non-NASCAR race cars and wear branded attire, it would appear that they believe there is some legal footing for them to organize various exhibition events. Also, it's likely that these events may begin as early as the off-season of 2023. What are your thoughts on this potentially bold move? Let us know in the comments section below. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. So, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more of our videos on NASCAR updates.